But Sean, I think it's even worse than what you've just said. Maybe I'm just reading uh, different media. I don't know. I'm actually seeing some on the left uh, gaslight Donald Trump, saying that, in fact, Donald Trump is to blame for the heated rhetoric. Uh, and by the way, they add, the shooter was a member of the Republican Party. So it's, you know, it's just a, a Republican uh, infight or something like that. Your response? Well, let's take the two things. Let's talk about the shooter for one second. Do you really think that anyone who is a Republican or supporter of Donald Trump would express their excitement about Trump by trying to kill him and or several of his supporters? I mean, on his face, that doesn't make sense, right? Um, and, and so we have to just look at this with common sense, which is if you were going to shoot a supporter and uh, the candidate of one political party, that's not a sign of admiration or excitement or enjoyment. It's, it's, it's quite the opposite. And I think that the reason that you're hearing that from the left and the media is that they don't want to accept common sense. The second thing to your point is, I agree with you wholeheartedly. CNN reporting initially that Donald Trump was taken by the Secret Service after he fell. USA Today, The New York <laughs> Times, The Washington Post, all disgusting. And to your point about the host, Margaret Brennan, the so-called host of Meet the Press, excuse me, of Face the Nation, talking about how Donald Trump's rhetoric caused this. Martha Raddatz of ABC News this morning talking about it in the same way that it's Trump's rhetoric. Somehow he's to blame for him getting shot. Look, I saw Jake Tapper of CNN even say, you know, start to, to elicit a line of uh, uh, questioning or answers that uh, Donald Trump was uh, reckless to shake off his security guard uh, so that he could expose himself and shake his fist and shout, fight, 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 instead of running away, you know, uh, in, in fear. Um, listen, in fact, Donald Trump's reaction to being shot... By the shot, way, can I just comment on that? What does that say Here's to you about the man and what does it do to his election campaign? It goes to exactly what you just said, Andrew. The reason that they're upset is that he showed strength. He showed perseverance. He showed American grit. You know, last week, Obama, Biden said over and over again, when I get knocked down, I get back up, blah, blah, blah. Well, Donald Trump never got knocked down. He stayed up and he showed why Americans love a fighter. And there's, they, here's the problem with your Jake Tapper quote. They initially reported he fell down and was helped up by Secret Service. They are trying to equivocate this. They want to put him on the same plane as Joe Biden, who did fall down, right? I, I just, here's the problem. They are so in the tank for the left. They're trying anything they can do to undermine him. That was a sign of strength, and that picture will go down in history as one of the most iconic American moments. And I think they just hate it. That at, oh, Think about this for a second, Andrew, and, and, and for your audience. In your most vulnerable state, having been your life attacked, and you still don't at that moment know if more bullets are coming, who else has been hit, how bad you yourself have been hit, his immediate reaction is to show strength. I don't know how many other people could say that. I, I would fathom to say many of these media people would be on the ground in a pool of their own. Well, I'm not going to go. I will just say, I don't think a single one of them would be standing. I think they'd be crying and cowering. And look, I, I, I'm just saying it was quite contrast to what you saw with President Trump. Uh, well, I think an assassination attempt in one way or the other is to bring the candidate down, literally, you know, kill him or at least humiliate him, show him in fear. Uh, I think in, in standing his ground, shaking off the uh, guards and showing his strength, he's quite within his rights to not let the shooter have even that victory. And I think the contrast with uh, Joe Biden, his frailty, et cetera, et cetera, will be devastating to the, re to the Democrats. I'll talk about that later in the show a bit. Um, now, Donald Trump is going to speak at the Republican Party's national convention tomorrow, our time. How do you think this shooting is going to play out there? What, how is it going to? How, how is he, in fact, going to play what's happened to him? I, I think that we are going to truly see uh, Donald Trump come out and use this as an opportunity to really exhibit the strength and contrast it to the weakness that he wanted to this week. This was the theme going into the week: strength versus weakness, and his resolve and his fortitude after this incident occurred is going to even further exacerbate that message that he wanted to.